a lot of people have a garage refrigerator, and this time of year we get a lot of questions about whether or not the refrigerator can run good in the garage or why it's not working properly when it gets this cold in December in, in Nebraska. A garage refrigerator is a nice item. It's a spare refrigerator and everything. If you don't have space inside the house, the garage usually is the second most common place. The problem being is most self-defrosting refrigerators have some issues once the temperature gets down to a certain degree. The manufacturer recommends that the machine run 50 degrees or warmer for ambient temperature. In real life, once it hits 40 degrees, you start to have some problems. As in another YouTube video, we discussed the proper temperature running inside that refrigerator. That's where your temperature probe is that the machine actually senses. With that being there, it's looking for that 38 to 40 degrees. Once the garage hits 38 to 40 degrees, the temperature of the cabinet is gonna stay there. It's gonna let that temperature really just kind of hover right in there in that refrigerator compartment. That's not gonna turn the unit on and therefore the freezer compartment's gonna come up in temperature. If it gets too cold in the garage, that temperature is really gonna kind of just soak right into it, freezing soda pop and other items inside the refrigerator compartment. And then the stuff inside the freezer is probably gonna be okay. But once it comes back up to that 38 range, stuff in that freezer is gonna to start to thaw back out. So really, it's gonna be kind of an issue this time of year. The colder it gets, the more problems you're gonna have with that self-defrosting refrigerator. If you can bring the ambient temperature inside the garage above 40 degrees, you're good to go. Come the summertime, a lot of people will call in and ask whether or not it's hurting the machine to let it run when it's 100 degrees outside. Anytime it hits 100 degrees inside that garage or hotter, the machine itself has to work a lot harder to maintain that temperature. You have some main components inside there on the back that are really gonna be exposed to that temperature, you're gonna cut down the life expectancy of it and you're gonna raise your electric bill quite a bit. That seems to be the biggest problems we have both during summertime temperatures and the wintertime temperatures for your garage refrigerator. If you have any more questions or need to know some more about it, please give us a call 464-8277.